Hello, and welcome back to East Origin. We will now solve the incredible puzzle of the Ring of Evil. Which is to say, we need to kill more stuff. These new red enemies are a danger to life and limb, as they do tremendous amounts of damage, and they can only be hurt by certain elements. Unica actually has it really easy considering how uh, incredibly strong uh, her fire skill is. But Hugo will not be so lucky. There are three of them roaming around and they can appear pretty much anywhere they want to. They have greatly increased defense and offense, and it's really pretty easy to die. Thankfully I know enough about uh, how they actually behave in combat to be able to beat them without getting the game over screen. level up because that's how East is done. And now I just look for the last one. That may take a little while and it does take a bit longer than probably should. case, it appeared in a rather unlikely position, which is... Oh, right, I don't check that yet. By the way, if you sink too far uh, into the uh, sand, it's uh, instant death. Yeah, the last one appeared right near the entrance to the room, and I have never seen it appear there before. We have filled the evil ring with evil. Yay? Okay, now let me show you what happens if you try to put on the evil ring uh, normally. After I save, of course. Yeah, there it is. Kills you instantly. This is the old school evil ring, like from the PC-88 version of East One. Note, by the way, that it did uh, 9,999 points of damage. Not only could you never possibly survive that, there is absolutely nothing in the game, including the final boss, that could survive that much damage. However, because we played East 1, we know exactly how to use the evil ring. Hugo is no help. Equip the blue necklace, then equip the evil ring, and you will be fine. Actually, we didn't ask them much for any help, but Unica is a nice sort of person. Thank you. 
Oh, this thing. Ah, Unica just said what I was going to. But imagine that Cadena is saying that sarcastically, by the way. But then again, that would be out of character. It's not like she's Hugo. And here comes the rest of the active members of Team Good. Sell yourself short. Oh, thanks a lot, Roy. If anyone would know about uh, shield magic, it would be the facts. has put two and two together and acquired Clue. Fina is a bit uncomfortable, uh with the fact that everyone here will obey without question. Oh, yeah. We heard about that in uh, East 1 and 2. Yeah, going back to something I said earlier, one of the threads I really like that was introduced in East Origin was the idea that Fina and Rhea did not especially want to be worshipped, as it were, in the first place. This uh, sort of uh, text actually lends a bit more weight to the uh, ending of uh, East 2, especially one of Fina's last lines, which was something like, Don't remember me as a goddess at all. sealed up all the claria, and guess who digs it up in East 1? 
I'm also glad that they decided to bring back Dallas for East Origin because he was really the villain with the most presence in East 1 and 2. And now, night business. Oh, sorry I sped through all that. It's basically just a recapitulation of what we're actually doing next. Only a blood sacrifice can free Fina. No, 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 you're just being knighted. herself in the normal danger we've enca been encountering such far. Nothing undo about that. Okay, first off, grabbing the amber key. Might as well do a little more talking. Normal. It was three lines. Okay, next we need to finish off the rest of the handy place thing. This is not the last time we will be going to Rado's Annex. Right, undead monsters. Thankfully, uh, 
opening the door actually drained the power of the evil ring. So, switching it out to a different piece of equipment than the blue necklace won't kill us dead. Okay, this is the why a bolt crash is useful room. Tons of flying enemies or otherwise nasty things that can be, can be completely trivialized with charged bolt crash. damage here, uh, this is the first place I go to, because there's something very, very helpful up this way. Oh yes, those mosquitoes are some of the nastiest, uh, things here. Not so much on their own, but because of what they do. You see, when one is attached to you, it actually drains your life. And not only that, it puts you in what's basically the heavy status, meaning that you have very restricted movement and jumping. And not only that, they can also attach themselves to enemies and heal them. Yeah, I totally meant to make that dodge. That was not luck at all. Okay, from here I'm going uh, left. And this leads me to... Another chunk of Claria. Claria has been prioritized. Yeah, these conversations with Rico will always be the same until you've gotten the final upgrade. And... I'll be right back with you soon. Okay, at the northern end of, uh... That huge room is some other things we want, like the reflex armor. Which was the best armor you could buy in East One. And come to think of it, also the best armor you could buy in East Two. Mosquitoes! There's not much you can really do to shake them off yourself once they've attached themselves to you. Could be dangerous. Great, now we're on entirely slippery floors, but we will be able to fix that very soon. As soon as we have dealt with those pallet swaps, of course. For our 
levels, we get the Earth Dragon's Claws. This allows us to not slip, so they're basically this game's version of the Stone Shoes. traps, but that's basically like saying it would be much easier if it weren't difficult. I'm so sleepy I can't stay awake! Thankfully there's only one red enemy here and He's actually pretty small potatoes compared to some of the others we've faced even in this video. Okay, we're at the boss door, but I seem to have accidentally skipped a couple of things that we need. Well, I'm gonna own up to that. First off, strength and armor. Second, boost our chance of stun working. It may not have seemed useful uh, recently, but it will be very useful later. Okay, I need to go back somewhere. Yoink. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, there are two of these rolling spike things, and any hit from them will guarantee to send you back to the bottom of the climb. Boom! Oh, and then I remember I, uh, I, I need to equip the silver chimes. This has not been a good day for remembering equipment. Okay, that opens that pit. Which allows me to do that important thing. Well, important other than killing monsters. Yeah, that's the key to the boss door. And I'll be going up against the boss pretty soon. Since I leave this room and warp my way back there. I'm gonna kill these guys first. And bam. Okay, my first attempt against Consular did not go as planned. So I decided to gain a couple of levels and buy some extra abilities like uh, increased boost recovery and that sort of thing. Okay, Consclord! 
House Lord was a pretty trivial boss in East One, where he was the second boss of Darm Tower. But here he's much beefier. You can't actually damage him uh, until you've destroyed those starfish that you saw me take out. And the main stock will do na try to do very, very nasty things to you unless you can stun it. However, you can't spend too much effort on the stock because if the starfish are left alone for too long, then uh, cons then they will actually uh, start to heal uh, Constellard itself. However, the problem with Constellard is that over time he starts to take on some very bullet hell-like uh, properties, which can really grind down your hit points very quickly. So even if it means uh, Consulard gets to heal a little, uh, it's best to stun the stock first just for survival's sake. Also, when in doubt, gain levels. One of the notable things about Unica's boost is that it greatly reduces uh, the MP cost of skills. I'm not sure how, uh, if it works the same for other characters' boost modes, but here it is greatly appreciated, even on top of the half damage. There's a lot to manage in the, this fight. But, uh, if you do manage to keep on top of uh, things and uh, manage your magic uh, well enough, uh, you should eventually be able to pull out a win, but don't be afraid to gain levels if you're not doing too well. Consulard is uh, really one of the harder bosses in this game. Down, however, we can access the staircase up. Oh, great, they're following me. As a, you know, a thing. What you call it? Okay, this is the beginning of the next area, the Blighted Blood. And we're just gonna save here. And that will be it for this session of East Origin. I will be seeing you next time. Bye!